Okay, tell, someone tell me how that didn't hit me at all. What's up everyone, my name is Lethal. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up for gaming, streaming, or for whatever else that you do on your computer. I'm gonna give you the steps to get your PC running smoothly and to be as lag free as possible. So as we're getting started, I will say that what I do on my computer is stream, game, and video edit. Those three things, and you know, sometimes I watch Netflix, but mainly the gaming and streaming and video editing. With so many programs that I run, after video editing, I have to do certain steps. When I start up my computer, there's a few steps I have to go through to get my computer squared away. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit my Windows key, hit Shift-5 to get the percent sign, type T-E-M-P and Shift-5 again, percent. Percent, temp, percent, uh, click on that, or you can hit Enter. And there's not a lot of things in here because I clear it every time, but uh, if you've never done this, then there's probably going to be a long list of things in this folder. Um, and you can also check that it has your username and app data, local and temp to make sure it's the right file path. You're going to hit control A to select all. Um, hit trash can icon, check, do this for all current items and hit skip. Next, you're going to go to your recycle bin, right click, empty recycle bin. It's going to ask you again to confirm. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these items? Yes, and then you can close that. The very next thing you're gonna do is open your task manager by hitting Control Shift Escape. Now in here, you can see all of the programs running. Each and every time I run my computer, like I said, maybe in this particular case, I'm setting up for gaming. I have Adobe apps running because that's what I use for my uh, video editing. So there's a Creative Cloud, there's like all the notification managers and stuff. So I'm just gonna go in here and right click everything that has a little Creative Cloud icon on it, hit end task. Takes a second, it disappears. Go on to the next thing, right click, end task, right click, end task. There's a few more that they'll say Adobe at the beginning. So right click and end task. These are pretty much all the apps that um, are very impactful to my game that will make my game lag. One, because they use internet, and two, because they use memory and CPU. So I've closed most of them. Um, the last thing I normally close is the phone link app. It is here in my system tray, so I can go ahead and quit that. Everything else that's in here is stuff that I actually need, so I'm not gonna close anything else, but if you know of any apps that run in the background, then you can close them manually there. Another way you can do this is by hitting the Windows key, type in startup, go to your startup apps, and you can basically disable everything in here unless it's something that you need. Now, the Elgato sound capture tray is what I use to send my game audio over to my streaming PC because I do have a dual PC setup. I don't know what this is. It says lethal. Uh, this is phone link. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Uh, Rockat Swarm Monitor, this is for my mouse and SteelSeries GG, I need those things to run. But pretty much most of everything in here is off so that when I start my computer, I don't have a slow startup and these apps aren't running in the background while I'm trying to stream and game, slowing down my computer, ruining my gaming performance. Another way that you can check your startup apps is if the app doesn't show up in that menu, you can hit Control Shift Escape, open the task manager, go to the startup tab and check that anything that you don't want to be running is actually disabled. Go ahead and close that out. The next thing that you can do is use a custom timer resolution. Now I will have a download link to this in the description of this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and open my timer resolution app. And all this does is increase your system responsiveness. It's a very simple app. You can see that the current timer resolution is 1.000 milliseconds and the maximum timer resolution is half of that value. So all you have to do is uh, hit maximum on this Obviously it's running as admin, which is why it gave me the prompt window. So once you close out the app, it resets it to default. So if you want this to be running, then instead of closing the app, once you hit maximum and get that 0.5 milliseconds, you can minimize it. It won't pop up in your system tray, but it will basically be down here. So whatever you do, don't hit the X or we'll close it, just minimize it. Another option that you can use is Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. And this basically has a built-in timer resolution just like the previous application. But what's different about this is it actually monitors your RAM. If you don't know what RAM is, just Google it. It's R-A-M. 
uh, do a quick Google search and find out what that is. But what this does is clears your RAM, clears your memory, and it clears basically what is called a standby list and system working set. You can monitor a free memory amount, which is the total amount that you have that's available that's not being used by anything. And down here, you can set it to automatically clear. Now, there's two options that you can use with this. You can either manually purge standby list, which purges everything in your system standby list and working set, or you can put a setting for how many megabytes of free memory that you need to be free before it clears it. So for me, I have 64 gigs of RAM. If you don't know how much RAM you have, here's a one quick way to find out. You hit Control Shift Escape, open your task manager, go to the performance tab and click on memory. Now at the top right, it's gonna tell you your total system RAM. I have 64 gigs of RAM. Um, you might have less like 16 or 32. Maybe you even have like 12 or eight. I hope not, but if you do, it's gonna tell you right here. Here it's gonna tell you how much available RAM you have, but this is the main number that we're looking at to determine what you're gonna put in these boxes. So I have 64 gigs of RAM. Technically, you're supposed to put half of your entire memory, and when your free memory is lower than half, it'll clear. But you know, after I've done some testing, I really uh, have settled in on this number, which is 52,000 megabytes of free memory. If it's lower than that, it's gonna clear. And this, you can leave the same by default, it's 1,024. It'll say, standby list will be purged when these conditions are fulfilled. I recommend that you put half of your system memory, especially if you're running on 16 uh, gigs of RAM, you should put 8,000. And then once you have those numbers in there, um, whenever you hit start, it's automatically gonna monitor it. Now, in here, you can select the wanted time resolution. It's still the same, 0 0.050. This is the maximum time resolution. This is the quickest response time your system can have according to this application. And um, you can check this box to enable it and you can put wanted time resolution of 0 0.50. And once you have those two, make sure the polling rate down here is 1000. For most um, computers, it will work with this setting. And then all you have to do is hit start. It starts the time resolution. It starts to monitor your RAM and uh, don't hit the X, um, just like with the other application, minimize it. So now I'm going to actually open the Epic Games Launcher. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and launch Fortnite. So the next thing you can do that's going to help to get your game running faster is if you go to the details tab, while all these things are running, uh, scroll down and you'll have three Fortnite icons. The middle one is Fortnite client win 64. And by the way, if you want your task manager to show up on the top, all you have to do is hit the options tab and make sure that always on top is selected so that your task manager can show up anytime over any application. That way, if your game freezes, you need your task manager to show up so you can right click and uh, hit in task and close it or, you know, hit it in task down here that's gonna allow you to do that. In the details tab, you're gonna go to Fortnite uh, Launcher EXE. You're gonna right click on this. What you're gonna do is next go to set priority and set the priority to high. It's gonna ask you, you know, a warning, blah, blah, blah. Just hit change priority, it should be fine. Uh, if it's not, it will either not let you do it or if it causes your system to lag and stuff like that, then just skip this step. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is to change the affinity for Fortnite client win 64. Uh, this is the battle eye launcher, the anti-cheat. You're gonna right click on that, go to set affinity, and then you uncheck CPU zero, hit okay. And that's gonna help your game to run uh, a little bit smoother, give you maybe a slight FPS boost. So after you're done with those things, what we can do now is close that. Very quickly, I'm gonna go into a few Fortnite settings specifically for this game because I play Fortnite. And if you're following the channel, you probably watch and play Fortnite. So going into settings immediately in the first tab, you wanna make sure that your window mode is on full screen. This is just like it says here, um, you cannot interact with other windows as easily, but the game will run slightly faster. Full screen is just the most optimal mode for running games. Now, some people like to run it in Windows full screen. That is, if you have two monitors and you're constantly tabbing out of your game to go look at stream stuff and type stuff in in your other windows, if you're running OBS or other applications, then sure, why not run it in window full screen, but full screen is gonna be the lowest input delay possible. I'm using performance mode, which is the best performing mode for Fortnite, and then everything is on low, except for meshes, because I kind of have a high-end computer and you can see well through meshes, but you know, for everyone else, if you just want the lowest input delay possible, go ahead and put it on low meshes. 
Also, I have my frame limit on unlimited. If you don't have good enough cooling for your PC, your PC is constantly overheating, uh, putting it on unlimited will actually put off more heat. So if you have a small room, just be mindful of that because it will, you know, make your room really hot. It makes my rooms hot and I have AC, central AC and everything going. Uh, you wanna make sure that V-Sync is off. The resolution you can put to whatever you want, but I always do 1920 by 1080. Uh, we could talk about stress dress in another video. All right, so last but not least, you know, all these settings are applied. Everything else here is kind of just personal preference. Uh, I'm gonna actually close the game and we're gonna go into the Fortnite launcher. So if you're not launching your game with the Fortnite launcher, you're doing it wrong. I'm gonna show you real quickly how you can change that and do it the right way. So make sure that you first of all, pin the Fortnite launcher down to your taskbar. Um, if you right click on the Fortnite launcher and you right click again on the icon where it says Epic Games Launcher, you can go to properties and uh, you go to compatibility, make sure to run this program as an administrator, hit apply and okay. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to the top right where it has your little icon with the first letter of your account name. You're gonna go to settings and at the very bottom, what you need to click on is this tab that says Fortnite. Make sure this additional command line arguments box is checked. But what you're gonna type in this box is land play, no splash, use all available cores. To save you the trouble, I'm gonna have a little text box that you can copy and paste from the description, but it's dash capital land play space dash no splash space dash use all available cores. Last little thing that I'm gonna mention is if you're running Fortnite through the launcher, go to library, scroll down to Fortnite, click on the three dots and then go to options. And what you're gonna do is, if you wanna save some space, you can uncheck Fortnite save the world. It'll save space on your hard drive because if you only play Battle Royale, you don't need this. Um, and I use DirectX 12 shaders uh, occasionally when I'm getting thumbnails and stuff for my videos, but for the best performance and to save some space, you can uncheck DirectX 12 shaders if you're gonna be on performance mode. Um, this is the next important option. Make sure you have this checked to disable cosmetic streaming. What it does is it's gonna download textures and stuff so that you're not streaming it and downloading it while you're gaming. And um, all you have to do is put a check on this box, hit apply. There are a few more things to cover, but I think that it's best I just cover another video just to make this one short and as sweet as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know down in the comments section. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.